Hello guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be trying out the Morphe and Coca-Cola Cherry Coke eyeshadow palette. Now if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should go follow me after this video. It's at that's underscore so underscore jasmine with two e's. I made a post about this eyeshadow palette, so it was actually gifted to me by my family, kind of as a congratulations for starting YouTube, which was so, so kind of them. I'm very grateful for that. So today I'm going to be trying out the eyeshadow. I've already put on my foundation and my base and all that because I just want to focus on just the eyeshadows for today. So if you haven't already seen the eyeshadow palette, I'll give you a closer look. Also, I haven't worn big hoop earrings in years. They're usually one of my go-to earrings if I'm going out clubbing or to some sort of event. But because of COVID in Melbourne, we haven't been able to go out in ages. I was feeling like a hoop day. And as I say, bigger the hoop, bigger the <laughs> This is the palette. The outside, it's kind of like a tin material. I don't know how you would explain it. But as you open it, oh. <laughs> so as you open it, it has this plastic protective thing over the shadows. And it does have the names of the shadows on this but it doesn't have it on the palette. That's one thing that I noticed pretty much straight away, which I wish that they had the actual names of the shadows on the palette, like lots of palettes do, because it means if I want to do looks with this and I want to tell people what I used, I have to keep this, which is kind of a bit annoying, a bit fiddly. So that's the only downside so far. I'm keen to see how the shadows actually look. Also keeping in mind, as I'm filming this video, I don't actually own any eyeshadow primer. I'm planning to get some today because I know it helps eyeshadows look so much better. So using my Morphe M173 brush, I'm just going to go in with the shade So Delicious. This shade up here. So it's a good base colour. And it also has a little mirror, which I think is really, really cute too. I mean, I don't think I can say too much about that shade. You can you can see it. It's nice and subtle. So it does work well as a base colour. So going in with a smaller Morphe brush. It doesn't actually have a name on it, but it's kind of... It's a dense, flat brush. I like to use it to pack on lots of colour. I think I'm going to go all in with this look and do something I don't usually do very much. I'm going to try and attempt a cut crease. I've seen lots of people do it before but I've never really attempted to do it myself because I've always been too scared to do it. But because this is a cherry coke palette I feel like I gotta use this colour which is more of the colour a cherry is anyway so I feel like it'd be rude not to. The name of that colour is Fruity Fierce. So this is what I've got so far. I'm kind of terrified, <laughs> but I'm excited to see how it turn out. I'm just going to take my time with it, and I know there's probably way better techniques compared to what I'm doing to be able to do a good cut crease. So if you're a makeup artist or you're really good at these, please let me know if there's an easier way to be able to do this. So next I'm going to go in with the shade Yum Yum, which is this one. I'm going to put that just on the tops of that shadow there, kind of just to blend it out and soften it up a little bit. I think I've definitely gone up too high as well. Might try and fix it, because I feel like that's too high. I don't know if it's helped too much, but I've taken more of the top and I'm going to try and blend more of that Yum Yum shade, which is a really light pink. Wish me luck. I don't know if the fruity fish shade has kind of settled into my skin because it's not really budging too much or blending too well with the other colour. But because I did try and take some off with a makeup remover, I don't know if that might have been why. I'm going to try and keep blending. I think it's kind of getting better. I don't know. I can't, oh no. This is definitely something I need practice with. To carve out the cut crease a little bit more, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Morley Concealer. I don't know if you guys know, but there's a YouTuber that I enjoy to watch called Soph Does Life, and I was watching her video, and I didn't even know this was a thing. But she said, apparently if you, bl if you look up when you've got the concealer on, it marks where your cut crease should go. Especially for someone like me who 
is still learning and playing with makeup. It was a good tip to know. So to set the concealer, I'm going to go in with the shade So Delicious, which is just this shade here. So next I'm going to lightly go in with the shade Very Cherry. It's a red shimmery shade. I'm just going to lightly put that where I put the concealer and see how that looks. I think those colours go really well together. So to put right in the middle of the cut crease, I'm going to be adding the shade Give Me More, which is this very light highlight colour. That's nice. Oh, I think that looks really nice. I mean, it's not finished, so we're not done, but we're getting there, you know? So I've just added that same shimmery shade into my very inner corners. I'm also going to add just a really small amount of the Gimme More shade just to the top of my brow bone. I'm just going to go back in with the Fruity Fizz shade a little bit more and try and blend the cut crease into it a little bit more. So I'm just going to put more of the that darker shade just under my lower lash line. coming along okay. It's definitely not the best cut crease you've seen that's for sure. But I've got to start somewhere. So I think I'm just going to add a little bit of eyeliner. So I'm just using my Rimmel London Wonderlink eyeliner. Eyeliner done. I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes. So I find mascara just looks so much better when I've given them a bit of a curl. So of course I'm going to be using my Lounge Face Lash Mascara by Lauren Curtis. I'm also going to finish off the look with some false lashes. I don't actually have the packaging for it anymore because I got rid of them. But they are the Eye Lure Chloe Morello ones. Whenever I put on a lash, it always makes my eye water and I don't know why. I don't know if I'm putting it on wrong. I probably am. But I also have trouble getting the middle part of the lash right on my lower lash line. So if you have any tips for how to put on lashes, how to get it into your... Like how to put in the inner lash well without making it obvious that you're wearing lashes, I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to go off camera and do the other eye and I'll be right back. So here is the finished look for the eyes. I am about to put some lipstick on so don't worry about that. I do think this eye looks slightly better. I think it's because I stuffed up this one at the start with putting up the shadow too high. This didn't work that well. But overall, I think for a first go to cut crease, I think it was okay. I think with practice, I can get a lot better at it. So let me know what you guys think. I also think I applied the false lash on this one a little bit better than this one. The inner corner of this one kind of is just sitting up too high and just don't look that close and you won't see it. So I'm gonna use my MAC lipstick. I'm gonna use my MAC lipstick in the shade Cream Cup. So it's just a neutral. I'm not wanting to do too much on my lips because I think feel like the eyes is so much already. I also do have quite dry lips today, so it wasn't I think it's too light. It makes me look a bit dead. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. It's just a small little one, but I think it's slightly darker, so I think it'll be a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's better. I think that's more what I was going for. And just to add a little bit of shine and put a little bit of colour contrast on my lips, I'm going to go in with my Morphe 2 lip gloss. It's in the shade Happy Glaze. No, it's not. 
It is the Happy Glaze lip gloss, but it's in the shade Can't Wait. So it's just a light pink. So here is the finished look. I'll just give you a little bit of a close up. So overall this palette, I'm not sure how much it costs because I didn't buy it and I don't really want to look it up to kind of spoil it for my family and find out how much they spent on me. But overall I think it's actually a really good palette. The colour, like this is my, like this is the eyeshadow without an eyeshadow primer. So this probably isn't even the full potential of how it could look. I think the range of colours they've got in there is really good. Like you've, you've got a lot of your neutrals that, you know, that half of the palette you could probably use for an for every everyday basic neutral colour look. But then this side of the palette, that's where, I reckon that's where all the cherry coke colours come in. I think it'd be really good for Christmas time too. See the only really downfall of this palette I think is that the names of the shadows aren't actually on the palette itself. It's only on that slip of paper that I showed you. So I think if I had it written on there, it would make the palette that much better. And I didn't actually notice, I didn't actually notice as well any fallout onto my cheeks. The only little bit of fallout I saw was from the highlight shade, which, because it was a bit sparkly anyway, bits of glitter. Bits of glitter did fall out a little bit onto my cheeks. But I find that happens a lot with shadows like that. But overall, I think it's a really good palette and if you want to try something new and if you're looking for a new everyday palette with a little little bit of extra colour for Christmas, especially with Christmas coming up, I, I think this would be a really good palette to go for or even as a gift for someone else. Thank you for my family for giving this to me. I really do appreciate it. It's a great present. The pigment's great. It blends really nicely. And I think the colours in there are just really nice. So that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun playing around with it and I'm quite happy for how the cut crease looks for my first attempt at doing one. Overall, I think it's a really great palette. Please let me know what you think. If you have any tips for how to do a cut crease but in an easy way or if you know any tricks to putting on lashes to make the inner corner stick in properly and not make it obvious you're wearing fake lashes. Obviously you're wearing fake lashes, but to make it blend properly. Please let me know down below because I'd really like to hear how you guys do it. And I think with a bit of time and practice, I think I could get a little bit better. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you want to stick around and if you haven't already done it, hit the subscribe button down below and join the family. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.